What is up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make foil proxies for Magic the Gathering without having to sacrifice a foil common or using acetate to remove like the the original ink printed on the front of a foil. So um, we're gonna use foil holographic stickers as the front and then we're just gonna print on them and then stick them to a, a basic land or a common. So everything in Photoshop is already sized. These are cards for a friend that they want to have made. And we're just gonna go to print and make sure since we're printing on like vinyl hollow paper, hollow sticker paper, make sure to select your print quality as a photo paper or else the, the ink won't dry properly and it's gonna smudge the moment you touch it. Alright, now that everything is cut, we need to round these corners. So I have this thing called a corner punch or a corner rounder. And this comes with three different uh, measurements for it, which you can see a 7mm, 10mm, and a 4. Um, we're gonna use the 4. It's not perfect. Um, think of it as more of like, I've heard people describe it as a similar shape to alpha cards back in the day. As opposed to, I, I believe the Magic uses a 3mm, though I haven't been able to find a corner rounder as such with that exact shape, but it's as easy as taking the thing, the card, matching up the corners to the shape of the little drawing over there for reference, and then just push down. And there you go. A little clean corner cut. Nice and neat. Make sure you align everything, otherwise you're gonna get like a weird shape. And there, now it looks more like a card. Uh, since they are stickers, you might have to like <laughs> take a knife to get like the debris off because it's not gonna fall perfectly. So I'll just take our little, little knife. Get that gunk off the bottom. And you will notice that, like I said, it's not a perfect shape. You can see like a little bit of the, the black ears peeking out. And um, I guess for some people, especially if the border for your cards much like say like this little arcane signet is black bordered so it won't really matter as much or won't bother people as much but if you really do want to make it match especially in a sleeve you can just like take your common if you don't if you aren't bothered about like destroying real cards so do that here as well and you can see like the, the corner difference like right there look at that it's much rounder on this one as opposed to like you know, how Wizards cuts their cards. Align it. And there you go. Look at that. That was great. Of course, uh, 
these are stickers, sticker paper, like holographic sticker paper. So um, you can either put these in a perfect fit or if you really want to um, thin it out because of course the sticker backing will help thicken the card. You can, if you don't mind like making it a permanent bond, especially if you've cut the actual card to match the corners, then you can peel it off and stick it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make foil Magic the Gathering proxies without having to uh, destroy an actual foil common with acetate. Like, this is a, a lot easier of an option I find and uh, and again if you're not you know uh, if you don't want the proxy to be permanent then you can of course choose to not stick it and just take a perfect fit. I'll demonstrate that now. Take a little these are a bunch of other things I've made. This braiding pool. So you can take a perfect fit. I, I choose the side loaders because they're a lot cheaper to get. Plus, if I'm sending these out to people, I don't have to buy like the real good KMC top loaders for these. Just leave it in. Line it up. There you go. Nice and neat.